Friends and family from around the world, this is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on June 11th, 2025. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving your space weather update. It's about earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Always starting out here looking at our sun. Right now, I'm showing the last three hours of imagery as we had a big plasma shot from the sunspot region cresting into view. We'll get a closer look at that in just a moment. Big plasma filament antipode opposite region of this plasma blast you can see that plasma filament looping back into the surface as well sunspot regions that are producing multiple c-class solar flares closer look now at that plasma shot and as well the plasma filament just north of it this is all cresting into view as this sunspot region has been producing a lot of activity on the back side of the sun now let's have a look at the last two days of imagery here. Looking at 304 angstroms. Imagery brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory mixed with daily events worldwide. Thank you so much for pressing playing and being a part of this channel. The awareness, being prepared. This is a look at the last 48 hours incoming. So this most recent plasma blast has not been put into these feeds just yet but you can see that highly active sunspot region cresting into view plasma filaments interacting and dancing around the surface of the sun outgoing and incoming lots of action on our sun recently having a look now at our multi-spectrum and as well, the magnetic field of our sun during this most recent coronal hole event. This is from the 1st of June. Bottom left-hand corner. Pointing out here, left-hand corner of our sun as well. Big coronal hole region, which is now Earth-facing. We can expect an increase in our solar winds. And just another amazing way to see our sun today. Thank you so much for being a part of this channel. Much love, and I appreciate all the support. Having a look now at sunspot regions, as there are seven of them Earth-facing, four turning away, three and four turning into view as well. So soon to be eight. Well, actually here it says nine, 41 away, turning away. But... Definitely going to be keeping an eye on sunspot regions outgoing and incoming. Current space weather conditions are none to report, but solar winds are still coming in over 440 kilometers per second. Solar X-ray flux on the rise here. Strong long duration C-class solar flares, almost an M-flare just recently from that big plasma blast. Proton flux is low. Geomagnetic activity at a KP3. Let's have a look at our Space Weather Prediction Center showing their Space Weather Spiral. Next geomagnetic event, 12th into the 13th. Included will be the coronal hole wind stream. Bottom diagram showing velocity. Now, as I said, we had a very active sunspot region firing away the last two days. You can see here on LASCO 3, the wide spectrum. Multiple pops. About 13 C-class solar flares reported the last two days. A lot of them coming from the incoming sunspot region. Tonight's Aurora view line versus tomorrow's. A little bit more prevalent tomorrow. As just forecasted here with daily events worldwide. Let's have a look at earthquakes now for shakers and movers. Deepest earthquake the past 24 hours right here. 4.7 Fiji region, 549 kilometer depth. Notable 5.2s there in New Caledonia. Largest earthquake past 24 hours, Julian City, 5.9. And just recently, Bonin Islands, 4.7 earthquake, submarine volcanoes through the region. Deep earthquake there, Tajikistan, 4.4. African Plate, quiet. South America, too quiet. Only reporting 4.2 there, Argentina. And as well a 4.3, Peru. 4.8 earthquake here, La Forma. Mexico, very close to Popocatépetl volcano. Notable earthquake here, Forksville, Pennsylvania, 2.8. It 
And as well, off the coast of California, Manhattan Beach, California, 3.3. Minor seismicity has been increasing through the region, so heads up, everybody. Notable earthquake here, Fort St. John, Canada as well. British Columbia reporting a 4.4 earthquake right, right in the region where those wildfires are situated. Attack Alaska with a 4.7 and piling up in, in Anchorage and northward. Kilauea has been spitting out minor eruptions all day long, waiting for a big one again. That north cone has definitely been putting on a display. 24, if not 28, eruptions since last Christmas. Here's a look at the last seven days for shakers and movers all around the world, largest being the 6.4 Colombia. And it's way too quiet up into the Juan de Fuca right now. All the activity off the coast of Oregon. Moving northward, stay aware and prepared. Now let's have a look at our air quality forecast brought to you by active and erupting volcanoes. Still at 79 volcanoes around the world. Actively erupting, noting here some sulfuric dioxide plumes. Australia has been inundated by SO2 all week long. That is set to clear out. Notable plumes going through Central Africa. And as well, wildfire smoke sweeping across eastern United States and Canada right now. Eventually will be clearing out. And the wildfires across the Canadian prairies are clearing out thanks to that very large low that swept through. Having a look now at the world weather forecast. Low pressure systems breaking up into multiple systems throughout the week. Watch for extreme weather daily with the daily evaporation rains. Long range forecast showing most of these systems coming up and over the Rockies still. Big high pressure ridge off the coast of California. Strong system moving up into Manitoba and Ontario for the long range. Could see some snow on the backside of that one. No hurricanes in this forecast. We should be at about five or six by now. Almost halfway through June. Carrying on here, Southeast, Southeast Asia, Africa, and Australia. Notable tropical system grinding up into Taiwan. And the South China Sea. Watch for a lot of moisture this week all through China. And extreme weather for North Korea. And then India in the long range. You've got a couple low pressure systems grinding up into your coastline. Overlooking the North Pacific, as I was talking about, big high pressure ridge off the coast of California, directing a lot of these systems northward up and over the Rockies. That's if the high pressure ridge over Alaska lets them. A lot of this high pressure is brought to you by all of the eruptions at Kilauea Volcano inducting heat into our upper atmosphere, lower atmosphere. I like to share here once in a while our upper level winds. This is overlooking our planet right now. Big high pressure ridge building in for Australia. This is what our polar vortex looks like in the southern hemisphere during their winter, normally during our winter, our polar vortex looks like that, if not tighter. Carrying on here, looking at equatorial winds. And we're going to focus ourselves over the Atlantic and North America right now. Talking about no hurricanes already, like really we should be at about five or six hurricanes Atlantic hurricane season. But look at the upper level winds last year versus right now. Look at those upper level equatorial winds racing right across Central America. Last year at this time, we had winds going in opposite directions as we should through the equator. But something's off, my friends and family. Something is off. 
Something else I wanted to share here is the Atlantic Ocean Current. This is currently versus last year. There's actually quite a big difference. If you notice off the coast of the Atlantic provinces, the difference is evident, visible here. Our Atlantic Ocean Current is breaking down. Things are about to get really hectic, my friends and family. Stay buckled up, stay safe and healthy, aware and prepared. And thank you so much for watching today. If you enjoyed the show, please let me know in the comment section. If you want to see more, tell me I want to see more. Stay safe and healthy, aware and prepared. Good night. Thank you.